Good afternoon from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, June 16. We have just brought this 1956-57 Chris Craft 17 and a half foot, 6 and a half foot beam special sportsman into the shop for preservation. She's a, an interesting example of how markets work. Uh, this boat's inner skin on the bottom is uh, half inch plywood originally. Uh, the inside of the boat also still has her original varnish. She's really a very, very original boat. Her previous owner had done substantial amount of the grunt work on her. Uh, the boat is, came to us completely stripped with her original engine, actually her original turquoise upholstery, all original gauges. We have flipped the boat. This is her original bottom with a plywood inner skin. Uh, this, this was an innovation by Chris Craft in an attempt to parry the newly arriving plastic boat industry with its marketing slogan, drop it in the water and have fun, no soaking needed. Well, with this plywood inner skin, canvas in be oiled canvas in between, Chris Craft could say, drop her in the water and have fun, no soaking needed. And the bottom, for the most part, is in pretty good shape and we will preserve it. We will not be replacing it, save for one rather obvious hurt on the port side. Over the years this plank has shrunk and shrunk and shrunk and it simply cannot be saved. Uh, we will not put a short plank in. Uh, in other words, just go just aft of where the split is and fill in going forward to one of the ribs, say this rib right here, that, that's just silly. Uh, you end up with two butt joints you don't need and uh, you're just asking for trouble. You notice that this boat on the outer two planks uh, run the full length of the boat. Uh, there is a joint here which I does not surprise me because of the accelerating curvature at the bow and stem, it would have been really tough to steam bend planks that long and, and have them fit without wasting a lot of material. We will be cleaning all of these seams manually, and then we will, you can see RJ's already begun, we will dig the putty out of every single fastener hole, back those fasteners out, and reset any that show any sign of degradation. And in reality, that effectively says that uh, we will be replacing 90% of them. We'll fill the, the minor hurts and breaks with 3M premium uh, marine filler. The seams will not be left open the way these are. Uh, below the water line we use Interlux's uh, seam compound which works just incredibly well. Uh, it's unlike 5200 which when cured becomes a formidable barrier against and threat to the planking as it inevitably expands and contracts over time. The seam sealer stays in place, behaves well, allows for whatever expansion and contraction is needed and continues to keep a watertight hull. So there she is, remarkably original. We can find no place in the entire boat 
where any wood has been replaced. So we will have to replace one bottom plank, but nothing else. And we'll keep you in the loop as Snake Mountain Boat Works brings this 1956-57 17-foot special sportsman back to life and back in the water. Thank you so much from Snake Mountain Boat.